Good morning, my dear students. So, in the previous period, you have come across with the definition of the prokaryote cell as well as the eukaryote cell. At the same time, you have been studied as the prokaryotic cell, the complete structure of a prokaryote cell. The best example for the prokaryotic cells are all kingdom modern organisms. Specifically, all kingdom, I mean, the kingdom modern contain almost all the type of a bacteria. All bacteria are belongs under the same kingdom, seems to be as the monera. Right? So, there you have been studied a certain type of an organisms like a PPLO, pleuro like organisms. Zip. So, they are the smallest cells of a eukaryote, sorry, prokaryotic cells. And there you have been studied the structure of the prokaryotic cells which consist of different things. Once again, I would like to be clarify you here. The three layers will be there. The first, second and three. We consider them as envelope. We call them as an envelope. Envelope on the outer covering layer. Hara bhagadalli padurgadu. Dehara hara padurgadu. Anta kandara karadalli. Say, these three layers which perform the different functions over here. As you know, the first layer which is said to be as capsule. And this capsule may be present, may not be present, you know very well that. This capsule smooth, we call it as a slime capsule. If it is present, it is going to be causing a disease called as a virulent. And if it does not contain, we call it as a non-virulent. You have been studied. And this can be observed by the help of a great scientist said to be as a gram by using a violet stain. A violet stain is not a violet stain. It is not a violet stain. It is not a violet gram positive. It is not a violet stain. It is gram negative. So, two type of an organisms has been, two type of bacteria has been classified on the basis of a staining property. If gram stain is taken, then they are said to be gram positive. If gram stain is not taken, then that is said to be gram negative. Like the same, the bacteria are classified into four different types on the basis of their shape, shape based. If the shape of the bacteria is a circular, round, ball-like structure, ball-like structure, we consider it as a circular structure. That bacteria is called as coccus type of bacteria. Coccus. If this diplococcus, triplococcus means two, if they are combined together, we call it as a diplococcus or we call it as a dicocus. Del means two. Diplo, dicocus, two. Cockle bacteria and the shape of the bacteria are round or circular shape. For a second one is vibrio. You know very well vibrio cholera is a bacteria which is going to be causing this is cholera. So vibrio is a bacteria which is comma shaped. Comma shaped bacteria which is said to be as vibrio. For a third one is bacillus. As you have been studied, lactobacillus bacteria, whose shape is rod, rod shape, rod rod shaped bacteria, see to be as a bacillus. Some bacteria will be have a spring like spiral, spiral like spiral shape. So, spiral So, spiridium. So, bacteria are of a four type on the basis of a shape. They are Coccus, Vibrio, Bacillus, Spiridium. Two more question it is. Name the bacteria classified on the basis of their shape. One more question. Name the bacteria classified on the basis of the gram stain. Gram positive and the gram negative. If gram positive stain is taking then that containing the capsule. If we do not take then it is it is a gram negative. That is said to be as a encapsulated, no capsule. Right? Whereas uh, below that there is a presence of a rigid cell wall which is made up of the glycokinix. Glyco means sugar, sugary content, specifically 
you know very well the cellulose, the hemicellulose content. You will learn in detail into the next class. Right? So, the cell wall, which is a non-living one. Below that, there is a presence of a cell membrane. Thin membrane. That is said to be as cell membrane. Thin membrane structure is present on it. Cell membrane is present on this. And this plasma membrane helps to take the material in and send the material out from the bacteria it sends out which is not essential it takes in from outside that is why it is said to be as a selective semipermeable membrane that is the function of this cell membrane or also called as a plasma membrane within that there is a watery like material is present that is called as a cytoplasm it is also called as a cytosol Inside that, a type of a cell organelle is present called as ribosome. What is it called as ribosome? And these ribosomes are of 70 s. Yes. Most important question for one mark. 70 s yes type of ribosomes are found in prokaryote. Whereas in eukaryote, they are of 80 s. Yes. What is this s? Yes? S yes is nothing but Swedberg. It is the name of a scientist who discovered and it is a unit to measure. It is a unit to measure. You want to put a meter at the carita, how a little liter at the carita, you want to sacrifice a kg at the carita. So, on the basis that this ATS yes, yes stands for Swedberg, a unit used to measure the ribosome. So, 80 years type of ribosomes are present in eukaryote, 70 years type of ribosomes are present in prokaryote. It is a detail you will learn in a later. That is what it is going to be 50 years plus 30 years. It is going to be forming it into as a 70 years. In sir, no, okay. I do orient to yambat agate. 80 agate. Yes, and the word is 70 and the. I say you that. During the learning of individual ribosomes, you will get what actually it is. The capping will be there. During the capping, some of the sediment is going to get become loose. That is why we cannot say here. Just you remember that 70 years type of ribosomes are present in the prokaryotes. And if these ribosomes are held on a single mRNA, Remember, most important question for one mark. It is M R N A. M stands for messenger. It brought the message from the DNA. It is the DNA. No? The DNA containing the information to synthesize protein. And that information is brought by this M R N A on it. To synthesize the protein here like this. This is going to be synthesizing the protein. Understand? And these ribosomes, more than one ribosome is present on one mRNA. That is called as polysome. It is also called as poly means many. Ribosome. Many ribosomes are present on a single mRNA. It is called as a polyribosome. Or it is also said as a polysome. Poly means many. Soma means body. One more most important question. What is polysome? What is polyribosome? In the neat level, they will ask that. On one mRNA, more than two ribosomes are held. Is called as option A, option B, option C, option D. They will give in this way. Neat level question. So that is for about ribosome. With apart from these ribosome, as you have been discussed, the plasmids. It is a you have been learned the plasmids are nothing but a self replicating extracellular DNA present in the cytoplasm of the bacteria. Right? Then inclusions body. Inclusions body means preserved stored food material is present inside. So we consider them as inclusion bodies. Right? So they may be 
phosphate group containing, they may be that contain fat droplets, that may be protein material which is helpful, that may be storage of glucose material. So anything. So in general we consider them as an intelligence body. Right? Stored food material is present in them. Right? Apart from that, the one more called as a pili. Pili are nothing but the finger-like structure. The finger-like structures are arising from the plasma membrane and they are called as a pili. They come in contact with one bacteria to the another bacteria to change their genetic material. That is called as a recombination actually. But some scientist has been said it as a reproduction. So they are helpful for during sex and the other. But still today it is an illusion. Right? But ultimately the bacteria will go for duplicate either by recombination or by reproduction. Because no proof yet given clearly for that. Understand? That is our puppy line. And then comes about cytoplasm, the watery fluid material. Right? So, the mesosome you have explained, the single flagella will be there. And this flagella is helpful for flapping. However, it flap, the bacteria will move from one place to another place. A single flagella will be there. A hair-like structure. And the base will be present at here. And the knob will be present, which is arising from the plasma membrane itself. So, flagella, which will be helpful for its movement. So, that's our about the complete history of a prokaryotic cell. Maybe one next to we will go for studying eukaryotes. One thing I would like to tell you, student, here is that. Say for example, imagine this is a page. We have been given you the work to write the page writing. Four pages. This is one page. This is second page. I will tell you that this is one page, third, this is second page, this is third page, and this is the fourth page. Four page handwriting of physics, four page handwriting of chemistry, Four page handwriting of mathematics and biology to be written by every day. Why we had given this work is to come to know that what kind of sentences are come. What type of new words are there. What is the meaning of that. And second, improve of your handwriting. Third, hard words. Fourth, you will get the meaning of those hard words. So that is important. Fifth, speed improves. That is why we have been given. In your forthcoming days, I will start putting you the question bank. You have to start writing the answer for that question bank and you have to bring it. And for my subject, specifically for biology, you have to write in an A4 size page. Front and back, not only front. Back also you have to write. But you have to draw the, what you can say, borderline for that file sheet. You have to mention the name of that subject assignment like that. I hope you have been understand. Okay, rest of other things we will go for study with the next period. Thank you. Thank you.